M0FXB Hamtech. Big thanks to Volos, and please check out Volos projects on the left hand side here. So we're all very familiar with the SI4732 mini receiver. Originally created, or the UI, was created by Volos. And then others also added a SI4732 chip. And we see this. And it's excellent and there are many different firmwares available. There is a new design that's been released by Lilygo and Volos has created some new firmware for it. So you're seeing now the original firmware is still going to work very well and it does have everything that the original has. But Volos has created some new firmware and made it very easy for you to install the firmware. Now I have tried to actually install the firmware on the on the original model and unless Volos can tell us a way as far as I can see, it didn't work and I had to revert back to the original firmware, which is easy because we're using the browser ESP, which is just here. And once you have the correct BIM file that you're using, you just connect to the COM port just by clicking here, just here. Then you erase the flash as a red, a red button that you press, load the file, choose the right naught x naught or just naught or whichever is suitable and then flash it's that easy to flash so i want you to bring your attention to a video that volos has just made and this is showing the interface that looks like this and i'm sure you'll think you'll say it looks very nice there is a link as well these are around 40 pound because they have an improved case design improved encoder audio you know the audio so and volos himself um, has been testing this and thinks it's a very good device also check out the projects of course that are listed here and consider donating to volos all right so what i'll do is i'll link in the video that we're seeing just here where volos does do a tear down of the device very you know a small tear down has a quick look inside and then discusses it and he himself has several links and he flat he does flash the device which is very simple similar to well i'd say identical process to what i've been doing with the where we've added the signal meter and wi-fi on this video so this video here has shown are uh, shown me installing the firmware for 2.28 uh, and it does introduce wi-fi you can add memory channels and a you have a signal meter, also a tuning dial that actually moves accurately with the frequency. You can also import the EIBI database and that adds a lot of memory names to the frequency. So other than the RDS and of course they all have RDS. So I know it's a lot to take in, but consider it and a massive thank to Volos. Very much appreciated and your work you know, is appreciated. And um, the fact that he came up with the UI, the original UI, and now we've all got these different receivers around. Uh, the only thing I'll say to Volos is if there is a way to flash the original device, the original SI4732 with the firmware that, that is going on this Lilygo, so that existing owners can um, can use the UI that you have created, please show us how. I did add it, I tried the the naught and the naught times naught. It does go in, but the screen stays black. But luckily I was able to just re-add the, the other firmware that I've been using. And I'll put the links in for that firmware if you've got the original version. I'll just put the link in for my video and everything's in there. Thanks Volos and thanks to everyone for watching my channel. Please hit the like and subscribe 7-3.